My name is Gabby Bacom and I'm a third year graduate student here at the Carver College of Medicine. I'm getting my PhD in molecular medicine and today I'm here to talk about germs and how they're spread and we think this is really important because we are at a trying time right now and we'd like to inform everybody how we can stop the spread of the coronavirus. So what are germs? Germs are tiny microorganisms that can get into our bodies and make us sick. And there are a bunch of different kinds of germs. There are bacteria, viruses, fungi, and archaea. But today we really want to focus on viruses. Viruses are put on this planet to actually be beneficial for our ecosystem. However, only a small percentage of viruses actually affect human. Viruses are very simple. They are basically a ball with little spikes on it that have DNA inside. And they're so simple they cannot you know, replicate or duplicate on its own. And their main goal is to replicate and spread throughout the world. And so for viruses to replicate, they will attach to its host cell and basically trick the host cell into making more copies of itself. And so the host cells become basic factories for you know, making copies of the virus. And so when you get sick and you cough and you sneeze, and start touching things, you're actually becoming a factory to spread these viruses. So it's really important to practice hand hygiene and make sure that you are not touching your face, um, especially in places that you think the virus can come in. Now we're going to do a demonstration on how germs spread. So germs are so tiny that we aren't able to see it with the human eye, and many of the times we need microscopes to see them. So today we're gonna use this glow germ lotion to replicate how germs can spread. And so right now my hands are empty without the glow germs, so when I shine this light on them, you really don't see any germs on my hands. But when I you know, add the lotion on our hands, and then, so I'm gonna spread it on my hands, and so you can see that when I add this lotion on my hands, it glows. But you know, as I touch other surfaces, like this water bottle here, you can see that it leaves some of these residues and shows how easily germs can spread. So anytime you touch something that has these germs on it, you're potentially spreading these germs to other places and to other people. So it's really important to have good hand hygiene. So from our demonstration, you can see how easily germs can spread. And so it's really important for us to wash our hands, but wash our hands often and thoroughly. So from other videos, you must have seen that you need to be washing your hands for at least you know 20 seconds, you know, sing happy birthday twice to yourself or sing the end of that Iowa fight song. So just make sure that you're hands are clean and make sure that when you're coughing and sneezing you do that on your elbow to stop the spread of those germs. This demonstration is going to mimic how germs are removed from our hands with soap. And soap consists of molecules with a dual nature. One end of the molecule is attracted to water and repelled by fats and proteins and the other end is attracted to fats and proteins and repelled by water. And so you can do this demonstration at home. So all you need is a plate, some black pepper, water, and some soap. So right now I'm gonna take the soap, I put a little bit on my finger, and you're, and you're gonna see how you know, soap can repel all these germs. So I put a little soap on my finger, and so then now I'm gonna touch the plate that has the black pepper in it. There you go. And you can see how the soap can repel all of these um, black pepper spots, which we have shown to mimic you know, germs. So you know, again, it's really important to wash your hands and wash your hands thoroughly. So thank you for taking this time to watch this video and watch me do these demonstrations. So I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy um, and make sure that you're practicing good hand hygiene. Thanks, bye.